Yeah, definitely. Um, I've always wanted to pass a bit more, but I also know sometimes um, you do a role that suits the team, which is more important in my view. So, yeah, it's also just about getting that balance right. Um, when to pass and when not to pass. So yeah, <clears throat> it's something that I've been working on, not just when I was in South Africa, but um, also playing in Japan now. Um, I get asked to move the ball around a bit more, which is which is also nice. Gives my body a bit of a, a bit more of a break um, during games, which is which is nice as well. But yeah, like I said, it's just finding that balance and, and trying to get the balance right in the games. How have you found working with, with Tony? What is, what is he like? It's um, he's very relaxed, which is very nice, which I enjoy. Um, and his meetings are quite short as well, which I think is also very nice. Um, he gets to the point of what he wants to come across and and say what we should do and where he thinks we can uh, utilize the space on the field. Um, and then we're out of there and then we're onto the field. So, um, yeah, for me, it's it's been a pleasure working with him and I'm looking forward to to building a relationship with him and getting to know him a bit better and, and understanding the way he sees the game. David, can you talk a bit about the record? Uh, there's a couple of them now that seem to be special, um, having been a backbone of, of that backline for so long. Um, what does it mean to you and Jesse this weekend to go past two greats uh, for that challenge? Yeah, it's obviously it's a great achievement. Um, and yeah, I think for Jesse and myself, I met him in 2014 um, when, <clears throat> when I first met the Spring Boxing. He was training with us already. Um, so yeah, I think yeah, just for my, for, from Jesse, or from myself to Jesse, just congratulations to him and to myself. It's an incredible achievement um, to get past guys like Jean and Shark. Uh, yeah, I think in their prime, they were probably the two best centers. Um, playing at the time. Um, so yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm not really, it is an incredible achievement. I'm not really focused on that. Um, I just want to get the job done on Saturday and, and then I'll celebrate that afterwards. But uh, that's not, um, yeah, why? Yeah. Um, what is He's a lot faster than me, so I need to move the ball. He can, can get on his bicycle a bit. Um, but yeah, he's obviously he's excellent at defense, at reading the game, at um, making tough decisions at tough times. Um, obviously, you saw while he played on Saturday, and his decision making on defense was incredible. He could put the Irish players under a lot of pressure, um, and you could see that on the field. Um, when someone is that brave and they take that chance um, to to risk to put the Irish team under pressure, you can actually see them under a lot of pressure on Saturday. So and I think the Irish will come maybe with a different game plan this weekend. But um, yeah, I think yeah, so, yeah, it was incredible to watch Jesse on the weekend to play with him. And, yeah. I think, I think, yeah, I'm not speaking for us, but I think for Franco and myself, we um, obviously you started playing in 2016, yeah, and I know in 2016, 2017, we went through a very rough patch of, of losing. Um, a lot of games and by big margins, um, which was quite unpleasant. But um, I think for me, the memory always sticks of how hard we worked to get to where we are now um, and what we have gone through um, as players. A lot of us that played in 2016, 2017 are still here. So um, that for me is what drives me. Um, 
and I know I won't play for the Springboks forever, but I want to leave the Springboks in a better place um, so that once I retire and guys like Sirs retire, um, that there is still building blocks in place for, for the next generation to, to kick on and hopefully beat our records and, and achieve greater things than what we achieve. I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. Um, I think the game on Saturday was was a proper test match, um, and it was a lot of fun. And yeah, they had a tough side. Um, I think they're going to come even harder this weekend. Um, but yeah, would it, yeah, I think it's a monkey off our back. But yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not really sure how to answer that. <laughs> Then you had a, a few battles now with, with Bundiaki and, and the Irish centre that got some experience both three years. Yeah, Ian Shaw, yeah. But just about Bundi, um, what's it like playing against him? What is, what is the challenge like? And he's a decent guy. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great man. I know he's a great family man as well. Um, and yeah, he's a fantastic player. Um, I've played against him a lot of times, like you said, and it's always been a great challenge. Um, like Frank will also say, we want to play against the best in the world, and I'm lucky enough to play against the best center in the world. And um, yeah, you want to test yourself against the best. Um, and I'm looking forward to playing again, uh, play, playing against him this weekend again. Um, and yeah, catching up with him after the game, and maybe maybe having a nice cold one. But I'm looking forward to the challenge on Saturday. Well, I speak for myself personally, I think I'll take it year by year and see how my body goes. Um, but yeah, I would, yeah it, would be, it would be incredible to win three World Cups. But um, I know if my body's not up to it, I have to put the team first and make a call that, um, that I can't be selfish and put myself before the team because then I'll be risking what we want to achieve as a whole instead of, um, yeah. But yeah, I'll see how I go building up to the World Cup and I know if I'm not ready, I'll, I'll be honest and call it. But um, as of now, I still have a lot of motivation uh, and the hard work. I'm still getting through the hard work quite nicely and I'm really enjoying myself and I love being here at the Springboks and, and for now I'm very happy and I'll keep working with it. Yeah, and really good customer. And, and yeah. so Are you glad in a way that, that you've been in a way waiting for that recognition to come that, that you're now getting? Because it, it was almost as if, you know, the reputation was built from the momentum uh, yeah. that you get. And are you glad that that recognition is sort of almost finally coming? I mean, it's not, it doesn't really phase me. Um, it is nice to, to have the ball in my hands a bit more and, and make a few more passes. and try and get, create more space for the guys on the outside. Um, but yeah, we, we obviously, I just love to play rugby. And um, whether I'm needed to move the ball into the wider channels or to crash the ball up, I'll, I'll most likely do it for my team to make sure that we have the best chance to win on, on the match day. So <clears throat> I'll just keep grafting and wherever I'm needed. Um, yeah, I'll put my hand up first and make sure that I get the job done. And once that job is done, I'll start to look at other things where I can improve and uh, get my input in the game.